that off us all. How's uh, James Clark? Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was a very big scare to be honest with you. It, it was life threatening. It was that that serious. So uh, fair play to my medical team, who was excellent on the night, and uh, Barry's medical team that we got him to hospital and got it sorted pretty quickly. But uh, obviously, the lad very shaken up and. I think the doctors at the hospital said he could have been 30 minutes, another hour, he could have been dead. So that's how serious that was. So it's never, never nice. You know, James got a nut allergy and, and something has obviously got into the system. And so uh, relieved that he's in, he's all OK and he, he's back in with us. Yeah, which is uh, good news, of course, isn't it? So he's all back in sorts now, feeling back to him. Yeah, he is. Really, they're very dangerous, aren't the allergies? Mm. So uh, certainly, you know, like I say, very, very complimentary of my medical team. They thought fantastic and... Uh, Got him, got him sorted, which is which is the main thing. Yeah, and since Tuesday, have you got the reaction that you wanted from your players in training? Uh, the lads have been fine. Listen, it was uh, it was one of those nights for me where what could go wrong did go wrong. A lot of major decisions not going for us in the particular game, so we so we move on quickly from that. And, and the pleasing thing is we've got another game tomorrow, so that's been the sole focus. But the lads hadn't needed to respond because it wasn't a it wasn't a negative performance by any stretch of the imagination. It's just a very very disappointing night and very disappointing result. Yeah, can the next game not come soon enough? Uh, well, listen, we, you're always hoping after a defeat to, to bounce back. But uh, it's also about respecting the division, respecting the team we're playing against and team, another team that's fighting for their lives. So we've got to make sure that the focus is, is as well, we respect those, that we continue in, in the form we've sort of been in and, and, and look to try and get three points. Yeah. What do you expect from Chesterfield? You mentioned they're down at the bottom of the table. Um, so, I mean, they've got... They're going to come here, throw everything at you. You'd imagine. Yes, yeah, certainly. They, you know, you look at it. It's a game they've got to certainly win. The ten points from uh, from safety, so they'll be coming in with an attack-minded set. I'd, I'd imagine. So it's going to be uh, obviously uh, a, a challenging game. But for me, the focus has to be about ourselves. And if we've, uh, you know, if we want to finish on the season the high, we have to be trying to win this football match. Yeah, four points off the playoff places. Obviously, that's an achievable margin, isn't it? So you're right in the mix. Though. It is. Uh, I mean, I still think it's a long shot. Being honest, I think we've got to win six out of the eight games. Uh, realistically, that's. That's where I think where we're at. But uh, what I will say is I'm, I'm very proud of the players to see where we are in this situation, that we're, we're looking up, not down at this part of the season. And, and, and certainly proud of them. And, and I hope, hopefully we can finish the season on a real high and, and see where that takes us. Yeah, it's a season gone better than, than what you hoped for. Looking uh, at I would never say that, to be honest with you, because I have high, high expectations. But uh, certainly when you, when you look at it and how quickly the club's moved forward over the last few years, I think you've got to be delighted that, as it stands at the minute, we're the highest placed team that got promoted last year. And our form and our performance majority of the season has been good and it's been some entertaining games. So, so for me, there's been a lot of positive so far this season. But like I say, we don't want to finish the last eight games in a damp squid. We want to finish strongly. Yeah, and looking at the reverse fixture against Chester, that was 3 2, wasn't it? it was back in November. Would you expect a similar sort of high scoring game this time? Uh, you never know, do you? I'd be a millionaire if I could predict the future, to be honest with you. So uh, we'll see how the game pans out.